हेलो फ्रेंड्स एंड वेलकम टू लेसन वन सी इन दिस लेसन वी आर गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू ऑन सेक्टर्स ऑफ इकोनॉमी दिस इज़ द थर्ड वीडियो ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर लेसन इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव स्टडीड इन डिटेल अबाउट द इम्पॉर्टेंस ऑफ मैन्युफैक्चरिंग सेक्टर एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू विथ दैट ओनली बट हियर वी आर गोइंग टू फोकस स्पेसिफिकली ऑन एम एस एम ईज ओके सो एम एस एम ईज आर वेरी वेरी इम्पॉर्टेंट uh for the economy as well as for this exam uh in upsc exam if you look at the previous years questions of mains you will see that almost every year there will be one question on msme also so this becomes an important topic and therefore it is very important to understand about this sector in our economy what are the different challenges faced by msme how you define an msme what are the solutions for msme so let us begin so msmes basically means that uh, it is an acronym for micro small and medium enterprises okay so these are the enterprises meaning these are the companies uh, which are either at the micro scale or small scale or medium scale okay now we are going to see how it is defined micro medium and small uh so it is defined depending on the investment that is made in the plant and machinery or it is defined in terms of the turnover okay so there are two definitions based on which a uh, company is called either a micro company or a small scale company or a medium scale company so based on the investments in plant and machinery a company is called a micro scale company if the investment is less than 1 crore rupees okay 1 crore rupees similarly if the investment is less than 10 crore uh rupees then it is called small scale so here the investment should be less than 10 crore but more than 1 crore okay so it is called small scale industry and if the investment is less than 50 crores then it is called medium scale industry and anything more than 50 crore is a large industry similarly when we look at the turnover basis on the basis of turnover if a company has less than 5 crores of turnovers then it will be recognized as a micro industry if the turnover is less than 50 crore then it will be small scale industry and if the turnover is less than 250 crore then it is medium scale industry anything more than 250 crore is uh, large scale industry now you see that here it is less than 5 crore and not less than and equal to 5 crore okay so even if it is 5 crore exactly 5 crore then it it gets into this category if it is exactly 50 crore then it gets into this category and if it is exactly 250 crore then it gets into large category so it is less than and not less than and equal to so this is not what we are using similarly here it is 1 crore exactly uh, if it is exactly 1 crore then it will come into this category if it is exactly 10 crore then it will come into this category and if it is exactly 50 crore or more then it will come into large category okay so please keep this in mind now what is the role of msmes in the indian economy what is the importance of msme in the indian economy that we will see so msme is very very important for job creation or employment generation in the economy and job creation is the dire necessity of the economy of the developing economy like india okay we need jobs for our youth people because in order to reap the benefits of demographic dividends okay in order to reap the benefits of demographic dividends which means that majority share of the population is working age population in order to make benefit out of it we need to create sufficient number of good jobs for these people well paying jobs now msme is a promising sector which is the largest job creator in india especially in rural and semi urban areas okay in india even today almost if you see 35 uh, percent people only 30 to 35 percent people only they live in urban areas and remaining 65 to 70 percent people they are still living in rural areas okay so for this people and also for people who are living in semi urban areas meaning on the peripheries of the large cities or uh, urban areas uh, it is very important uh, to create jobs for such people for such youth and msme is a promising industry because they are smaller in scale they can be set up without 
you know much compliances and without much infrastructure needed and as on today uh, msme provide almost about 11 crore jobs in india so see it is very very high in the previous video we saw that the manufacturing sector which is basically in the formal sector so it provides about 2 crore 2 to 2.3 crore jobs in the formal sector msmes provide job to 11 crore people okay so this is a huge uh, employment base example is handlooms handicrafts textile sectors okay so uh, these are the sectors which are labor intensive sectors these are known as labor intensive sectors and uh, uh, labor intensive sectors basically employ more people per unit of uh, production it provides employment to women scsts and marginalized sections of the society so it leads to inclusive growth also okay msme provides a promising way of inclusive growth by providing employment to women and sex and marginalized sections of the society so that is the importance of msme here so there is a social importance also attached to msme now let us look at the contribution to exports it almost 40 percent of exports in our country is from msme so see it is a huge share of exports that happens through msmes especially of textiles gems and jewelry so these are the two sectors where india um, uh, has a kind of advantage and we export a lot of textiles and gems and jewelry which are mostly msmes okay mostly produ produced in an msme so almost 40 percent of our exports come from msmes there are lot of backward and forward linkages uh, of msmes so backward linkage and forward linkage meaning for example if there is a factory okay and if it is taking raw material from say some from some farm and then it is uh, you know using um, say uh, a transportation service uh, to to transport its uh, goods then uh, this link is known as backward link and this link is known as forward link so since msme um, are small small units and they usually consume the local raw material so they have a lot of backward linkages and they also utilize a lot of services and uh, you know then they can also be producing intermediate products for example if this msme is producing say cotton yarn and then it is supplying to a big uh, actually uh, textile industry so there is a big textile industry then this yarn becomes a intermediate product then it supplies it to this uh, another industry which is actually producing the cloth so this product uh, becomes the raw material the input for this company and therefore this is a forward linkage or then it can also use um, uh, you know services from the service sector that also becomes a forward linkage so msme they act as uh, uh, you know uh, suppliers to the big industries also for example if there is a car manufacturing company this car manufacturing company will procure its tires plastic components glass components from other small small factories and then it will basically just assemble them in their uh, own factory so this small small msmes which provide this small small um, component to this become contractors or become suppliers of the essential uh, you know components of that particular product so they have lot of backward and forward linkages it supports agricultural sector it provides critical support to large industries by acting as suppliers or subcontractors as i told you because they can uh, they act as an ancillary industries okay they act as ancillary industries to the large industries for example supplying auto parts to major manufacturers then another benefit of msme is that they have low capital cost low investment and they are labor intensive in nature so they provide more employment now they have competitive advantage in providing small order quantities because since the capital investment is less okay so their fixed capital cost fixed capital cost is low and therefore in order to produce small quantities the fixed capital gets spread over okay since, since the quant since the amount of fixed capital is less it's it gets spread over whatever production is being done by that msme and that that spread uh, becomes small because the original fixed capital is less so they have a competitive advantage so if a large industry if say it has a, a fixed capital investment of say 1000 crore and if a small uh, and if a you know maybe a small size industry uh, which has uh, say investment of say 5 crores so basically if you see that if if uh, if there is a, a small 
small quantity supply so if it is uh, say producing uh, uh, you know uh, a, a good say, say say good one okay and if it has to supply say it has to produce say 1000 quantity okay 1000 quantity per annum then you can see that this 5 crore gets uh, divided between 1000 whereas here this 1000 crore will get divided into 1000 if the same quantity is uh, given to the large industry so you can see that the fixed co uh, cost will be much more here for the large industry so they don't have a competitive advantage in taking the small order quantities now msmes are uh, you know dispersed across various regions so uh, there is a regional dispersion so there is a check on rural urban migration also or rural uh, urban exodus so people uh, basically don't actually go and just uh, enter the urban areas um, uh, you know without having very meaningful jobs there because now they are getting good jobs in the rural or semi urban areas itself now latent resource utilization okay uh, basically msmes will uh, utilize the uh, hidden resources in a given rural area or in any part of the country uh, they can utilize the local knowledge skills and cultural wisdom of the people thereby producing new and innovative products so uh, th that is the importance of msme uh, for indian economy now what are the challenges faced by msmes what are the different challenges so uh, this we have discussed in the previous video also almost the same challenges so the first one is access to credit and finance uh, so only about 17 percent of the total bank credit uh, goes to msmes uh, you can see that the institutional credit is very very less uh, only about five percent of funds through institutional channels okay so total credit taken by the msmes um, only five percent of that goes through institutional channels like banks and more than 90 percent through self-financing so this is a uh, you know important um, challenge for msme that you know they are not able to access finance through uh, through the market through the uh, either money market or uh, through the uh, stock market so that is one very big challenge then the next one is regulatory hurdles labor laws environmental laws uh, you know corruption uh, which is you know basically bureaucratic hurdle so uh, we can say that uh, these challenge which are there for uh, you know manufacturing sector as a whole applies to msmes also they have to face it more because they are not very um, uh, you know they are not very much um, uh, uh, endowed with resources in order to meet the labor laws environmental laws as i told you labor environmental laws may be very very strict they may ask you to invest in clean energy and you know uh, high value technology so msmes it is very difficult for them to do all that so compliances are a little difficult for msmes then technology adoption is slow lack of innovation because of low investment and the setup is also not such that uh, you know there will be more innovation or technological upgradation because uh, they lack resources to do so then skilled manpower shortage now if we have to produce high end products high uh, you know quality products then we need skilled manpower also which is uh, which is in shortage in rural and semi urban areas and in most parts of the country so that is another challenge being faced by msme to grow and then marketing and procurement issues as well so this is another uh, issue because it needs all together a different kind of uh, uh, you know outlook in order to market your product you need a separate establishment for that and uh, you know some consultancy services also which can help you market however msmes are not able to do that because of low financing and uh, they are not able to access proper markets also okay because of their locations so uh, these are uh, some of the important challenges also uh, faced by msmes um, uh, in india uh, if, you know usually the distribution of uh, uh, industries uh, in developed countries is such uh, that you know uh, the uh, so this is the graph which which uh, which is represented here so on x axis you can see the the micro industry uh, here smes and large industries and this is the share percentage share of these different kinds of uh, industries so uh, you can see that in developed countries the share of micro industry is less smes meaning small and medium is very high whereas large industries is again less okay almost like micro so this is the distribution where you know more smes are present 
uh, in the economy and therefore more jobs are available and people are employed in a better way however in uh, in countries like india especially in india there is a missing middle so the graph looks like this so there is a very large number of micro industry okay very very large number then little bit of large industries and very very few uh, you know very very few small and medium enterprises so we have a missing middle so you know almost the 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 uh, the, the medium size or the small size industries are missing in our country so either there are many micro industries or a few large industries and middle industries are almost missing in india so this is the reason why you know we have jobless growth so our growth is not uh, producing enough jobs or employment because these large scale industries are mostly capital intensive okay these are mostly capital intensive high technology automation and they will not uh, produce enough employment whereas micro industry they will not also produce enough employment because their size is small and they can only employ a few people but M sme small and medium they have a promising way to employ more people but in india they are missing so there are uh, the reasons behind uh, being that the micro are not able to grow into small and medium see this micro industry will only grow and become small then small will grow and become medium and medium will grow and become large so we are not able to grow this micro industry because of several reasons which are mentioned uh, above so uh, uh, please keep this in mind that um, this is the condition of um, you know uh, currently the scenario of msme in our country we will discuss about msme further in the next video thank you